Hey guys, it's Kathy. Welcome back. So, yeah, I haven't posted in a while because I broke the microphone. I ordered a new one um, a while ago. It still has not come in yet. So, I know that you guys hate the, the microphone that I have. <laughs> so, I decided not to post with that. Um, but I did, I got me a, a headset for an Xbox. That's what you have to do when your headset doesn't come in on time. It was supposed to be in the, the 19th. It's the 25th. So I'm going to be the next care and you're going to see online. No, just kidding. I'll wait patiently. But yeah, so I'm using a different microphone. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this will work. Because I have a lot of videos saved. Um, this one will be short. This one will be like, I don't know, 40 minutes, something like that. But I have a lot, lot more saved that are, are just great. Um, so without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, Ms. Underwood, you need a breakout session with Mr. Skinner. Uh, no, I don't believe so, Your Honor. Yes, she does. All right, we are on, on record in file 21-4, I'm sorry, 21-20472-FH and 21 20 no, sorry, I pulled 20472. Uh, we are here today for a uh, pretrial on alleged violation uh, probation. We are proceeding today by video conference. Uh, first, let me have the attorneys place their appearance on the record, beginning with Mr. Ben. Ron Dunwood. For, oh, sorry. Alex Van Middle for the people. <laughs> Ron Dunwood for Mr. Skinner, Your Honor. Your Honor, can I just have a brief breakout with Mr. Skinner. <laughs> I apologize, I had one question for him. Yeah, one second. <laughs> she's, she's back and look how mad she looks. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, breathe through it, breathe through it. All right, we have uh, Ms. Underwood and Mr. Skinner back from breakout session. Ms. Underwood, where do we stand? Judge, judge, we have another attorney. Uh, Mr. Skinner, I, I, I can. I can't communicate with this attorney. She does not listen to anything I have to say. And I've been trying to, I've, 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 I've tried and I've tried and I've tried and I just can't, Mr. Old Saver. I've been, I've been trying. She told me last week that I'd be pleading to something when I got downstairs. It's something totally different than what she told me. Then. Oh, you mean things changed? You mean last week when you pled guilty to something else, then this one changed? I, I can't believe it. Listen, guys, if I'm ever arrested, first, come bail me out. Or no, actually don't bail me out. Let me in there. I need a vacation. Second, make sure I listen to my attorney and I don't think that I'm smarter than they are. And then she done walk out the courtroom before the judge is even done talking to her. All right, Mr. I just can't. I, I feel like there's no communication. I, I just can't, Your Honor. I, I, I'm sorry. I've been trying to talk to my probation officer. I told her I want to talk to my probation officer. I have yet to see him speak to Mr. Speaker. <laughs> he got the probation officer's name wrong when she's just talking to me. She said, Miss Holly, I got Mike Stevenson. She does not know anything about my case. She's not paying attention to what I've got to say, Your Honor. Okay, uh, Mr. Skinner, so what? What I, I have the ability to appoint the public defender's office to represent you. Um, I don't have the ability to decide who within the public defender's office represents you. Um, okay. If if you believe that, um, well, I, I guess Ms. Underwood, how 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 do you want to do this? Do you want to explore whether he can have another attorney within the public defender's office assigned to him or what, what do you want to do? Your Honor, I, I will have to confer with my bosses um, and um, see if we can accommodate Mr. Skinner. 
I had Michael Margosian as my attorney with the original charges that I'm on probation for. And he's familiar with my case. He's familiar with me. You know, I, I, I would appreciate if I could have him. You know what? You actually can have him. You can if you go pay for him. If you take the money that you earned and buy the attorney like everybody else does. But if you don't want to pay for the attorney that you want, then you're going to get the attorney that you get. Because, you know, I, he represented me the whole time, you know, and I've done I've done the right thing. I, I think I turned myself in on a charge that was six years old. I got locked up down George, came back and turned myself in. You know what I mean? And I just feel like she is not listening to me. You know, she's not listening to her. Okay, all right. I, I, I understand and I, I, I get that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this over one week to give Ms. Underwood an opportunity to discuss uh, the situation and, and see if the public defender's office is going to appoint someone else to represent you uh, other than her. Um, if not, and you believe that um, her performance as your attorney has been insufficient, then I am required to conduct a hearing on that and, uh, you know, make a decision after I've had an opportunity to have a hearing on it. So um, we'll send it over for one week. In the meantime, if the, the public defender's office decides that they're just going to do it anyway, um, then that will happen. If not, then we're going to have, we'll, we'll have to have a hearing on the issue, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, um, Ms. Underwood, is there anything else we need to address with respect to Mr. Skinner's case today? Nothing else, Your Honor. <laughs> so we had been trying to, I think, coordinate this with, does he have new charges that are coming upstairs? No, Your Honor, Mr. Skinner entered a plea last week. All right, so I'll set this for... Look at her knowing what's going on with the case. Look at that. Uh, next week, that's August 16th at 8.15 a.m. Thank you, Your Honor. So um, I think I saw him again later um, at that next trial. I didn't, I think he was off camera, if, if I remember correctly. He was off camera with an attorney and the audio was, was not great. Um, I think that was him. Anyway, I do remember I saw him again and I think he had a different attorney the next case. So there doesn't have to be a special um, thing for poor Miss Underwood to go in front of and see if she's doing a bad job. She's doing a great job. But he, he'll be okay, Mr. Skinner, as long as everybody just, just listens to him. I don't know why everybody doesn't just listen to him. But this next one, we're going to all play a drinking game with this one, and it'll be fantastic. So every time you hear her say, Zambrana, you have to take a shot. So pause it and go get some liquor. Just make sure it's nice liquor. And then... Take a shot, Zambrana, take a shot. All right, I got this one, Attorney Barker. Mr. Zambrana? <laughs> All right. Now I'm calling the matter of the people versus Orlando Zambrana. This is ticket SP1376856161. This is one count, no operator's license on person. <laughs> Mrs. Zambrana, if you don't want to be a part of this, you can go ahead and hang up now. I'm here, what you mean? You put your head back. Now you're yeah, not yeah, in the, so you're already in the comfort of your home. You got to sit up, okay? All right, this matter is here today. Attorney Balkman, he was to... I'm um, having returned today because he was going to have counsel assigned to him for this matter. He called the courtroom last week um, and we didn't have enough time to get him counsel assigned. So I was trying to give him a new court date. Apparently he didn't want that new court date. So we are <laughs> here today um, to figure out um, how we can move forward in this matter. Um, counsel, did you want to talk to him for a moment or do you just want yeah. me to move forward and get him counsel? He just wants that counsel assigned, but... 
Let's talk. Well, we should talk. This okay. is going to be chance to talk to me. Okay. Can I put him in a breakout room? You may. Apologize for the court reporter's screen blinking in and out, in and out, in and out. I can't control that. Mr. Zambrana, I'm going to meet you in breakout room number one. I'm sending you a visual cue that says join. Be right back. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> I love Boffman. He does a really good job. Oh, I think I did this. It might seem like she's making him wait on purpose, but I don't think she is. She's waiting on um, the clerk to give her more information for him. There it is. All right. Calling the matter of the people versus Orlando Zambrana. Drink up. SP 1376 This is one count, no operator's license on person. Appearances for the record, starting with counsel, please. Lee Bachman for the defendant. Sir, state your name. State your name, sir. He heard him. This is Zambrana. Yes. Drink up. Can you state your name, please? Orlando Zambrana. I'm sorry, I'm looking for something. <laughs> okay, how are we proceeding, <laughs> Judge, the defendant paid a related civil infraction. Ordinarily, I yeah, so I would ask that the case, instant case, be dismissed here. Um, I don't know if that's really what the judge, that the defendant wants to happen, curiously. Um, I let him go into detail as to <laughs> what is vexing him, but he seemed to be under the impression that we are responsible for uh, his presence here today. Okay. What's going on, Mr. Zambrano? Your license is valid. Always been valid, Your Honor. Okay. I didn't stop Always you, Mr. Been valid. Zambrano. I know it may be a frustrating process and everything, but I don't know who you spoke to the first time when you came to court, but it may have been valid. And so I just had to pull it so I could find out whether or not it was valid. Mrs. is Zambrano. We are not the people who stopped you. We are here to go in exactly. court and try to figure out what happened. But when you come at us in such a, a manner and way, it makes it difficult to navigate. Now, if you would have told us in the first place, I have my license, I'd have I, my clerk. I said all of that. I said all of that. Okay. This is a problem. I said all of that. I not deal with people in life, okay? So did you I want to go forward in a different capacity, or do you want me to dismiss it today? Because I'm willing to dismiss this ticket. You have a valid license. What? Always had that. That's why I was telling you before. You said, no, we got to come back August 7th. Once again, I was not able to drive. I had to learn how to walk again. Somebody got that in my name. I spoke to you months ago. Well, you have a valid license, so. Always I, had that. Always had okay, that. Okay, we've been standing. Listen, Rob. We've been standing. Listen, listen. My question what is, you what, what, what does so this what do you want me to do today? What does this miss mean? It means it's dismissed. It's all gone. You don't have to do anything. Okay. Well, what will I have to give to my insurance company? Because like I told Mr. Hoffman, and like I told you months ago, Garden City, Livonia, and Detroit. I had two surgeries, could not walk, had to learn how to walk, was not driving. In the system, it's easy to say, oh, we gave you a ticket. That's false. You did not so give did me. You, but systematically. So so did you have a speeding ticket you were trying to contest? Is that what it was or no? It was that with multiple cities. And when I dealt with Livonia, they gave me a, some piece of paperwork stating this was not him. Officer, I identified or ID the person. I was able to give that to my insurance company and they lower my rates. I'm dealing with Livonia, well, Livonia's out the way. Now it's Garden City in Detroit. What will you give me so I can give to my insurance company? 
That's that's my only answer. You already paid. So here's the problem. Or not the problem. But you already paid. I remember now. So that's yeah. why we needed you to go to court because you already paid the fine. So I can't just dismiss it. You have to ask for a formal hearing. I remember now. So when you didn't call to get the attorney information so that I could have an appointment, you can come down. There's a form you fill out. You've already paid the ticket. So now you want to dispute the ticket that you've paid. So I'm going to dismiss this one, but you have to dispute it because you've already paid it. So you have to come down and get a paper from the first floor that says, I would like to contest this ticket, and they'll let you contest it. So come back to court. Like this is everything I expressed to you. You have to come on the first. You have to come on the first floor. Well, no, no, Mr. Sombrano. Let me be very clear. I asked you to call the courtroom so that I could get you counsel assigned so that they could do it for you. And then when you didn't call the courtroom until Friday or Thursday, it was Thursday. What's Thursday. wrong with that? So, Mr. Zambrano, this is not like. So we can't just reach out to people magically and get them. I need to give them at least a week's notice to be able to do something like that, especially when we do it virtually, because they have to assign counsel and make sure that their schedule is available to come on that day. And so we have to give okay. them some time period. We can't just make it happen overnight. And so when we try to give you a new date, you didn't want the new date. That's no, fine. I, I, feel like, <laughs> I feel like at Mr. this point, Mr. counsel Mr. is not even I'm trying to help you. This case is the, the case on my docket is dismissed without prejudice. That's the end of this hearing. Thank you, Mr. Zimbron. <laughs> yeah. All right, you're all oh. there, Attorney Boffman. You can take us off you too. Bye, y'all. Have a good day. All right, have a good day. You too. <laughs> Okay, everybody's drunk now. All right, I have someone identified as Janice Daniels. I need you. But her real name is Super Karen. I'm going to start your video, please. Good morning. Good morning. Um, your, name, your name is Janice Daniels? It is. Okay. Okay, and why are you contacting the court today, Ms. Daniels? I'm a court watcher. Okay, you can do the court watching, that's fine, but you need to do that on YouTube. You cannot do it on my Zoom. Unacceptable. So what I'm gonna do is direct you to YouTube, and it's Magistrate Laura Milmore, and all you have to do is click click on that, and you'll be able to watch everything. Um, why, why wouldn't I be allowed in here? Because it is only for parties to the um, matters. It's, it's really a matter of public interest, really quite frankly, a magistrate with all due respect. Absolutely. And, and so Absolutely. I should, be, I would be happy to undo my video and just listen right here. We do want you to undo your video. That would be great. Thank you. Where's the administrative rule are you referring that. to? May I ask? Ma'am, I'm gonna tell you right now you can you can watch on YouTube. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna remove you from the courtroom if you But wait, don't remove her yet. She wants to speak to your manager. If you have questions, you can contact the administration. I'll give you the telephone number. Okay? Would you like that? Yes, please. Sure. It's 517-483. Um, I'm going to give you the deputy court administrator because I know our court administrator is gone today. So that would. Okay. If you know what case this is, then it's just crazy that the court administrator is, is not in court today. That, that is, I was astounded. I can't say what case this is because I don't want to get in trouble and I will. Be four, one. Actually, 4443, that will be uh, the executive assistants, and then they can get you to talk with the um, deputy court administrator, okay? I uh, thank you very much, um, Your Honor. You're welcome, ma'am.
federal hog versus air and ag foods case number CRA yeah. 17970. But you'll stand here when he's done. All right. Okay. Um, yes. I realize that the um, audio is not great on this, but it's it's, it's only bad for, for like two minutes. And we don't need to hear what happens. We are just going to listen to the shouting that goes on outside the courtroom. That's it. That's all we're going to do. So, yes, bad audio. You know, it's okay. It's fine. Jeremy 15, 628, Yes. I, I just want to apologize for the condition. He has uh, been a lot of sense of in front of you, so he is in the front chair for a long way. Okay. So now I didn't hear that either, but he did apologize for the next one that's supposed to come up. He's he's now, um, I think, being restrained in a chair <laughs> because he's not behaving, and we're about to hear him. Okay. <laughs> How did the judge fuck his kids over? I want to know. Okay, what I'm going to do is continue it. You can bring him in person on Monday afternoon. He can sit in jail. He probably does he have a holder for me? He has. He has a motion hearing in front of common police court uh, monday your honor okay uh and a well, trial friday all right we'll continue it then till august the 21st <laughs> well we'll see what his attitude is like then if he calms down and wants to do it by teleconference we can if not we may have to bring him in person Yes, sir. You too. Oh, boy. Scott will be next. Okay, just so you know, I didn't record her because she was crying. <laughs> I recorded her because her solutions to her problems are fantastic. Community court or municipal court, we haven't. Uh... So, Miss Scott? Yes, I'm sorry. I told you I wasn't coming back. I didn't do nothing. No. Hey, and you didn't. We are going to get you out of jail as soon as the paperwork But they took my end. car. They took my car. I don't even okay. have enough money. I was trying to do was look for my talk. I told my, I told my, uh, I told him, I said, you need to just start talking to him this going back. I told him to come back so, so he can face this stuff. I said, let's do this together. Okay. I was looking for a heel. I, I didn't have enough money. So I had $20. I learned how I know I wasn't supposed to be. I went to the casino. I was trying to leave. So I started paying some of the court stuff off. Man. She, she went to the casino to the, so that she could pay her court stuff off. <laughs> Then maybe if I can double up on this 20, I can start paying the course stuff off. Right. I didn't win. Let's, 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 let's they back took up. my car. Let's back up. Um, you will be getting out of jail today as soon as we can get the paperwork. And I uh, don't believe, I think all the fines and costs are gone. You owe nothing. But my car gone. Okay, well, that uh, that's problematic. Uh, I'll see if I can uh, send something to somebody to see if I can get it out for you, but I don't, I don't, I can't guarantee anything. Okay. Thank you so much. Right, I I'll promise I was trying. I told you I was going to have everybody driving around. I told you I was not going to do nothing no more. I was okay. doing everything right. Well, and I think you have been since these tickets are long ago and it's, you, you've been doing all right. I appreciate that. Okay. I was listening to y'all. I did everything. So. Right. Very good. All right. Well, I'll do my best to see if I can do something about the car, but you get out and see what you need to do about your car. All right? Okay. Thank you. All right. I, 
I hope it involves going to the racetrack since since she didn't win at the casino. I hope she moves on to the racetrack. Right. Thank you so much. You have a good day. All right. Okay. You, you you'll be outside here soon. Okay. Uh, Judge. Uh, originally received the motion order to show cause January fourth, twenty twenty three for. Okay. Uh, this is a little long. I, it takes a while to get there. They let this guy just go on and on and on and on. But then, then it comes to a point where they have enough and then it's over. Now, you know, it's, I think it's like six or seven minutes. I think, I don't know. Um, but if you want to skip ahead, then go ahead. But it, it's, it's funny. It's funny. For a February hearing that was adjourned to May. It was again adjourned to August to today's date. Party's most recent order regarding child support is their third order modifying order for custody support and parenting time that was entered in November of 2010. That requires $453 a month. The original hearing was um, rescheduled because Mr. Stevens paid a couple of payments in February and March. Last payments made were in March, $134.27. His overall payment history since 2009 has been poor. Um, <laughs> Currently owes a total of $43,374.30. Of that amount, $37,627.53 is owed to the other parent. There's $4,702 owed to the state related to birth, related to confinement, as well as medical support. And the remainder in fees and costs associated with the issuance of multiple bench warrants. And I can pull further payment history up for the court's review. All right, Mr. Stevens, what's been going on? So, um, I got on uh, con, um, nonstop payments as of uh, in 2018, I think around September until um, till November 2020. It, you know, you show that I was paying the child support payments and then the arrears, right, from 2018 to 2020. I guess before that, you know, I was, uh, I wasn't living right. Right. And, um, and without parenting, I made a dumb mistake in 2010, um, signing over my rights when I was a dumb kid. And, you know, it's the worst thing I ever did. The, the child support payments at that time, at that time, Manessa was in, was in jail for uh, running a drug house. And, um, I still got, the, the children were with the grandparents. I tried to get the, the children and they were with their grandparents. At that time, back in 2010, my child support was $998 a month is what they wanted me to pay. And I couldn't live, this, you know, I'm making maybe $1,500 a month and they wanted $998 a month. So I foolishly signed over rights to the children uh, in 2010. I didn't know that that didn't stop child support. Yeah. So fast forward, I had, um, you know, I, I've seen you guys a couple times for payments. 2018, I started paying consistently um, the, the arrears and the payments. I had a disectomy surgery back in 2020 during the pandemic. I lived in Saginaw, Michigan, and um, that was quite the recovery. I was working for SC Johnson Ziploc in Bay City, Michigan. And after my back surgery recovery, they didn't hold my job for me. At that particular time, it was really hard to find work in Saginaw in the inner city. The pandemic was huge. A lot of businesses were clo closing down. Businesses were making do with one, two, uh, you know, employees only. It was really hard. Um, <clears throat> May of 21, uh, after after uh, searching for work all over in the inner city, I got a job offer up in Kingsley, Michigan, to run J Wall Diner, a restaurant that my prior boss was was uh, opening up. So I opened J Wall Diner, Kingsley. So that's that's what brought me up north. And uh, so it was really hard staffing. We ended up shutting that down. It was myself and two other people. We ended up closing that. It didn't last long. I had another disectomy surgery in December of 2021, right, for my L4 and my L5 disc. I have degenerative disc. Um, I'm healed from that now. I'm in the parking lot right now of Traverse City Products. I'm, orientation started at 
at uh, 11 o'clock today. So I told him I may run a little bit late. Um, throughout, the, throughout the years, back in 2010 when I split up with Manessa, she was with my brother. That's a domestic violence case. The pros- um, friend of the court is funny. And, uh, it it br- kind of broke us apart, you know. She was with my brother. And, you know, oh, are you there? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Unfortunately. And, and, uh, so in 22, I yeah, I didn't talk to my brother for 12 years. You know, I was talking to him because, you know, we had relationships prior to Faith being born and whatnot. And it makes me question if, if Faith's my child. I signed over right. And um, you guys can start taking it out. It's been hard getting full-time work. I worked the, the $100 payments. I was doing part-time um, at three doors down. So you can see uh, last uh, March when they stopped, I was working part-time. It, it was at this particular time, I'm still heal- healing from my second back surgery. It's hard to be on my feet. But, and um, so they, they let me go due to me not being able to perform the job and, and be on my feet for 10 hours a day. So I'm just getting to the point right now where um, where I can work eight, 10 hour days. Going into orientation at Traverse City Products, um, so you guys can start taking it from my check. I would, I would like, I would like a paternity test. I know it's late. Um, I recently, I, my daughter recent, if that is my daughter, she recently, well, a couple of years ago, she reached out to me, said I want to know about you because it's been ten years. I wrote me after letter after letter after letter, wanting a relationship with my kids. Nothing. I haven't heard from her since 2010, and. Uh, Never, never got a response ever. And, uh, you know, I wonder if that's the time where he signed away parental rights. Well, my life's never been complete. Doesn't matter what I have in my life. It's never been complete. Not knowing what about my daughter, what she turned out to be, you know, and she reached out to me and we we're talking consistently a couple of years back. Then she blocked me, blocked me. She reached out. She said, I'm sorry. I'm making my stepdad mad by talking to you. And I've been un- unable for for 10 years to have a, any type of relationship, the outlandish things being said about me. You know, when my daughter says, wow, you aren't what mom said that, that you were, you know, it, it hurt, man. And it didn't drive me to, to pay. It didn't drive me. Oh, oh, um, oh, oh, oh. You, you know, I, 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 want, I, want, I want a paternity test. You guys can start taking it out. I, I should start on the 20th of uh, Tra- uh, Traverse City Products in Traverse City. Start taking it out of my check. Get me back on track, but... All right. So what we're going to do, based on that, sir, I understand, and and, and I, I am I am in empathetic to to what you're what you're saying, your story here. But what what we're going to do is get get you back on track, child support wise, because for the the other issues, uh, I'm not able to cover those today. Okay. So yeah, what, based what, what on, do I do? What route do I? Do? Based on the statements made today, <laughs> the issue that I'm going to find is that you are able to pay. So we're back on track. You're healed or healing in the process. You've got a good job. This is good. We don't have to talk about jail. We'll, we'll get an income withholding order going with TC products, but I am going to make a contempt finding and put it because the, in, ter- in terms of right now, I don't find any manifest hardship. And so we need to see payments coming in. The other issues, which I, I understand that are very important to you, unfortunately for, for the court today, I can only enforce a valid order. So that's really all I can handle for you. So we're going to put you on a payment plan. That'll be a two-year payment plan. Uh, you're to pay what's owed plus $50 a month on the arrears. Um, if you fail to do so, a bench warrant could be issued for your arrest. You may have to serve up to 30 days in jail. Um, I'll set bond at $700. If you pay as ordered, you don't even have to come to court again. That's what I'm hoping, sir. And we can kind of turn things around. You, you'll have an opportunity to... Uh, take care of what other issues you you are raising today that for whatever you know for better or for worse i just i i'm not able to cover those today okay i'll start this payment plan though in september mr hogue not not immediately give them a couple of weeks here to get going on the new job and get things going so go ahead mr. Uh, yeah, yeah. mr stevens I, yeah. I need that the only thing we can address today is this child support issue but i need to know you okay. said you're at tc products you have orientation today that's fantastic yeah, but I don't have TC products <laughs> in our database. I'm going to need you to contact our office to provide the federal employer identification number 
for the company so that we can get that income withholding order sent and you can at least get on track with that and then start dealing with the other issues, okay? Okay, Mr. Holmes need and Your Honor, I also, F so I'm waiting, I'm waiting for this afternoon at 315. I also have a drug test at Munson. I have a background check through Sterling, uh, through, through Sterling that's going through Traverse City Products. Okay, I also, this afternoon, um, they don't I care. A, my resume on Indeed, Sarah Lee had contacted me. Sarah, I'm either going to be going, um, you know, in, in the next week, 10 days, let's say, to Traverse City Products or Sarah Lee Bakery. Okay. Um, just let us know which. So, pardon me? Yeah, let you can just let, know us, which. Let, just let us know I'm which. Waiting for the, I'm waiting for a background check right now. Nothing. Understood. You know Thank I mean. you, sir. We'll stay in the journey. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Kearney in the room. I love this judge. I love it. Oh, what happened? Mercury's in retrograde. Is she a contained witness in the case? She might be in the, in the Stevens victim. Stevens. Okay, you're right. All right, good morning, Mr. Kearney. Good morning. All right, this is People versus Jeffrey Kearney, file 22-6488FH. Mr. McCarthur, uh, we're here for docket call. What's our status? Your Honor, last time we were here for docket call, <clears throat> there was a uh, request made for Mr. Kearney to be considered for the um, recovery court. Um, unfortunately, that was um, discussed and I guess voted on at the recovery court and he was uh, not admitted to that uh, program. We were hoping that, that he would qualify for that. So we're sort of back, we're not really at square one, but we're certainly back to trying to resolve this. We only had a brief conversation between the denial of of the uh, recovery court and today. Uh, I think there is an avenue for trying to resolve this, but at this point we, we're not at that at that level. But, um, I have a sure, go ahead, Mr. Carney. Uh, what I was arranged, I, I had Barga, a heavyweight my prelim, but I've been checking into a lot of stuff and I uh, but uh, what I read on the report, the police report, I should never waive my prelim. Is there any way to put appeal to go back? Appeal. Okay, guys. How high is this guy? Well, that'd be something for you to talk about with Mr. McCarthy. That, that's uh, not super likely. I mean, you waived it with the advice uh, and benefit of counsel, but you can discuss that with Mr. McCarthy to see if he thinks that's a viable motion. Yeah, I think Barton just time, automatically assumed I was guilty of the crime, but the report, like, there's a lot Mr. more. Mr. Tour. Carney, Mr. Carney, oh, hold on. L listen to what I'm telling you. You need okay. to talk about that with your lawyer, Mr. McCarthy, not just okay. with me in the middle of a Zoom call, okay? Um, all right. So okay. Don't, don't talk any more about it. Okay. Sorry. All right. That's fine. Talk to your lawyer, and, and if he thinks, uh, you know, that you guys want to bring that forth as a motion, then I'll hear from both sides and. We, but we got to follow a proper process so that the prosecutor knows about that and okay. I can't just jump right into it with you with, with no advance notice, okay? I understand. All right. Um, looks like this uh, bind over did occur last November. So any objection to me setting this in just a couple weeks on July 25? Does that give you time? No, that's fine. Okay. We'll put around 1140. All right, so Mr. Carney, uh, we'll put this out just a couple of weeks to give you time to talk to Mr. McCarthy about those issues. And this case has been lingering for a while, so we want to keep it moving along here. The 11:40 Zoom appearance is authorized, but be in touch with Mr. McCarthy if it's better for you to be here in person to communicate with the court or with him. Uh, go ahead and do what he says. Okay. Thank you. We'll do that. <laughs> Stop talking to me. Why are you talking to me? <laughs> I love that judge. I think I love that judge because he puts people in jail when he says he's going to. 
Like I've been watching a lot of the um, Washington state courts and they don't like put people in jail at all. It's like, oh, you have 17 failures to appear, but you know, I have faith in you. So this time you better show up or guess what? They're going to revoke your bond. <laughs> the guy's probably sitting there like, yeah, I know. <laughs> you did it a million times before. I'm just going to get out again. But not this guy. This guy's like one failure to appear. He's like, I told you if you did not show up, that that was it. Go to jail. Take them away. No. I do have some more videos. I'm going to try to um, get together so, while well, I was sitting around for the last two weeks waiting for a headset. So um, if, the, if the technology gods will let me, then I will put them up as soon as I can. Have a good night, guys.